when I first started coming out here, it was definitely hours and hours and hours out in these hills, always with my camera, but sometimes it would just be time just observing them. I just started to see something, I think, through the lens. I started looking at them a different way. You know, when you're, you're looking at something through a camera, you see the world differently. They emulate so much that I just hope that's what I can capture when I'm with them. Always took pictures with my little brownie camera. There's a whole um, dance that you sort of do when you're out in the wild. Somehow my life is is intertwined with this chalice Idaho herd. A friend of mine in 2004 witnessed a roundup and she said, I've got to do something, I want to write a story. And she asked me to take pictures and I said no. And she was persistent and kept after me, and I finally, she just said, you know, come on, just one day, come out with me. And I went out, not really knowing what to expect. The heart of the problem is that there's no value put on wildness. I just knew from the beginning I didn't want to be the one to show the dark side of it. I wanted to be able to show the beauty because I feel like beauty will inspire change. I started printing life-size portraits on fabric, and I call it a ghost herd. I have to speak up for what I feel is wrong, and there's a whole lot wrong in this world. But this cause picked me, and it's not letting me go. I want people to be inspired, to, to care, to make a difference, to change, to, to know that this is happening to them. The most beautiful thing is just seeing them wild. Everything about how they live is beautiful.